this step of setting up VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery, we're going to set up a protected site. This is step number two in our quick setup. And we start off in the UI dashboard and we've, we have our setup steps here. So let's go ahead and click on setup here. We're going to take a look around. We can uh, build an on-prem protected site. We can also protect VMware Cloud on AWS SDDCs in another region. But for this setup, we're going to use an on-prem vCenter and we'll give it a name here, a data center site one as an example, and click setup. All right, this is going to create the logical entity for our protected site. And we see that in our menu here. And it takes us to the uh, protected sites page. We have a few steps to do. We're going to deploy the connector, register the vCenter, and we're going to create a test protection group. So let's go about these tasks. We'll click deploy here. And let's go ahead and copy the uh, URL to our clipboard. And we're going to use that to basically paste into our vCenter. Now I've created a folder here for DRAST connectors. And what I want to do is deploy a new OVF appliance here. And I'll go ahead and paste in the connector URL from the other screen. We'll come in here and give it a name. I'm going to call this DRC-1, DRAS Connector 1. We'll choose the vSAN cluster. We'll go ahead and ignore the certificate for now. We'll put that on our vSAN data store. Now here we're going to choose a network that can talk to the other ESX hosts, the vCenter, and has the proper firewall routing uh, allowed out to the public internet to get to our uh, VMware Cloud components in AWS. So the management uh, distributed virtual port group is the one I'm using for that. And we're done. We're going to go ahead and click finish. The OVA will deploy. This will take a few minutes uh, depending on your system. And once that's done, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead in here and power this on. So let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine. It'll take a few minutes to initialize and come up to ready. We're going to log in and configure it in just a moment. So let's go ahead and open a screen here on the console. And I'm going to log in as the administrator with the initial default password. It was on that other screen we were looking at. We'll go ahead and do a static IP assignment. So let's, let's choose option A. I've got an IP address already configured up. So let's go ahead and enter that in, a subnet mask, and a gateway. And I've got a couple of DNS servers that I want to use. Uh, it's essentially testing the network now. The FQDN of the orchestrator, again, was back on that deployment screen that we had. We could copy it from there. Oh, I happen to know what it is. So we're going to type that in here. And it's essentially going to validate. Now, back on that screen was a passcode. So let's go take a quick look at the, what I was talking about here. So in this deploy window, we had the credentials. We had the FQDN. We also have the passcode here that we can use. So we'll go ahead and take that and paste that in here. And that changes every five minutes. We're going to give it a label. Now, this matches the VM name. DRC-1. It's basically connecting, setting things up. We're good. We can go ahead and exit out of this window right now and go back to our vCenter and finish up what we're doing here. So we've got the connector set here. If you remember the password, the default password was set. If we wanted to get to the other one, we could. it's, it's stored in here. We're not going to worry about that right now. Now let's go ahead and register the vCenter. So for this, I'm going to go back to uh, my vCenter. I'm going to pick the, uh, the root here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the, uh, the IP address, come back into VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery UI. Let's go ahead and register the vCenter. Paste in that. And the, the default user here is, this is an administrative level user. And I've got the password for that. And we'll go ahead and register this. So this is going to create the DRAS connector and the vCenter relationship for this protected site. If I need to get to the vCenter, this is how I would also remove it. So if I wanted to register a different one, so I can, I can manage my connectors, I can manage my vCenter registrations all from this 
part here. So let's go ahead and create a protection group. And we'll give this one, uh, we'll call it test. We're going to build it on data center site one, the one we just created. We're going to associate it with the vCenter that we just registered. And I'm going to use just a simple naming pattern here, test star. And we'll see what virtual machines we have that have those. And there's, uh, looks like there's 10 virtual machines in my environment that match that pattern. And we can go now and here's a simple schedule. We're not, we're going to get into protection groups later, but for this one, uh, the default is uh, daily at midnight with a retention of one week. You could add more schedules here or adjust this. That's going to be a topic for another task. So let's just finish this. We just, I want to test out to make sure everything's working. So we now have our DRAS connector installed, our vCenter registered, our test protection group. Let's go ahead and take a quick manual snapshot and we'll keep that. Uh, we're going to delete this. So keeping it for a month isn't going to be a harm. It's going to basically go perform a full backup of those virtual machines, copy that to the scale out cloud file system in VMware cloud disaster recovery. And if we look at this, there's the point in time snapshot from this manual backup of those 10 virtual machines. We can go back to our test here. We'll go ahead and select this and go ahead and clean this up. We don't need to keep this around. And I just wanted to make sure that the protection, the protection group within the protected site worked. And with that, we're basically done setting up a protected site. We deployed the OVA DRAS connector. We registered the associated vCenter that had the virtual machines we wanted to protect. We created a sample test protection group that's going to run every night at midnight, validated with a manual backup, manual snapshot that everything worked and cleaned up and we're finished with this task. Mm -hmm.